everyone hope you are all doing well i am shruti banerjee today i am going to discuss the part 3 of top 5 interview question from the topic art and statistics these questions are frequently being asked by the top companies during the interview so let's begin question 1 What is the difference between inferential statistics and descriptive statistics? Inferential statistics provides statistics information from the sample data to reach to a conclusion about the population, whereas the descriptive statistics provides exact and accurate information. In other words, we can say inferential statistics allow us to test a hypothesis or assesses whether our data is generalizable to the broader population and descriptive statistics summarizes the characteristics of a data set moving to the second question what is the difference between population and sample in a inferential statistics from the population we take a sample we cannot work on the population either due to the computational cost or due to the availability of all the data points for the population in other words we can see a population is the entire group that we want to draw conclusion about whereas a sample is the specific group that we will collect data from from the sample we calculate the statistics also from the sample statistics we can conclude about the population an important point is that the size of the sample is always less than the total size of the population moving to the third question what is the difference between print function and print paste function in r the print function is used to print only the number and characters whereas the print paste function is used to print value and string both together moving to the fourth question how will you check if an element 25 is present in a vector there are various way to do this firstly it can be done using the match function the match function returns the first appearance of a particular element Secondly we can use percentage in percentage which can return a boolean value that is either true or false and lastly is dot element function also returns a boolean value that is either true or false based on whether it is present in a vector or not these are the ways by which we can check if an element 25 is present in a vector or not moving to the last and fifth question what is the use of rbi nom function the function generates required number of random values of a given probability from a given sample the function is used to generate a random binomial data we can also say that it can be used to stimulate the outcome of a bernoulli trial this is a fancy statistical word for flipping coins we can use it to calculate the number of successes in a set of pass or fail trials with a success estimated at a probability p this is all about this question i hope these questions are helpful for you all thank you so much for watching the video